Do we want resilient systems? When is it necessary to aim for them? And if the consequence is a certain trade-off towards, for example, an increase in inefficiency, a decrease in efficiency, how do we establish the right balance? My name is David Orban, and this is The Context. I was supposed to travel to Seoul, and then to Montreal, and then back to Europe, in an around-the-world trip after two years, being able to visit my daughter and my middle son in Canada, and then Omicron intervened and I cannot go. The borders are once again, if not impenetrable, uh, if you have to go through quarantine and the total stay is two weeks, well, it stops making sense. So we are postponing our trip to either this spring or whenever it is going to be. We have already bought our plane tickets. So I will now call the um, two uh, airlines, turns out Polish lot and Air Mexico that uh, provided uh, the tickets uh, in this uh, weird uh, planning that uh, I was able to do. And my expectation is that they will indeed allow me to move the ticket to another date or suspend the ticket until I know I can fly. And my expectation is because otherwise airlines would not be able to sell plane tickets. We live in a complex world. How complex? It has been highlighted for many of us during COVID exactly because the intricacies and the interconnected nature of so many processes and procedures was transparent, became transparent when things didn't go smoothly as we grew to expect maybe during the previous decade, for example. And this kind of insight into the complexity and intricacy of our world is extremely helpful. The ability to deliver the expected result under adverse conditions, unexpected forces pushing you left and right, is uh, what resilience is about. Our systems are resilient if we can rely on them, well, maybe not under any possible circumstances, but even under unexpected ones. And a complex world will express unexpected circumstances often. So we need resilient systems. And the resiliency comes at a cost because you have to have a padding. You cannot just set things up in a manner that uh, is perfectly tailored to the procedure as it works when it works best. You have to um, give a leeway both to the processes, the people, uh, you have to rely on their ability to uh, adapt or even improvise because you enable them to keep an eye on the result and you enable them to change the procedures, to change the rules, to be more adaptable. The consequence of this padding, of this leeway, of this increased adaptability is 
a decrease in efficiency. It would be fantastic if we could optimize once and, and forever uh, the procedures, the processes. We could teach people what do they have to follow and then we could um, tell them to follow those procedures mindlessly without the investment in energy and creativity that adapting to the new uh, circumstances would require because under those assumptions there would be never a new circumstance, only the well-established path. And yes, this kind of optimization is impossible. It just doesn't happen. So, we have to accept that the efficiency decreases as compared to a hypothetical, ideal process that is super optimized. And we have to remember that because it is an easy trap to then forget about the premise and to conclude, oh, look at that, that is inefficient. Let's make it more efficient. Let's optimize it. Let's over-optimize it. Forget about the very reason why we started in a given way, on a given path, and ended up with the resilient but relatively inefficient situation that we are in. Remembering the reasons why a process is structured in a given way is the ability to meta-judge, to meta-evaluate, and then to say, this is actually true for a certain part, but not for another part. Look a broader picture, as it were, look to the context of the process and the procedure itself. And then confirm, indeed, this is what we want, or no, we want to change it. So, as I am buffeted, as all of us, by uh, what is going on with COVID, now with Omicron, and, uh, well, maybe in 2022, whatever else, let's remember what are the very, very natural consequences of a complex world where we want to be able to deliver solutions to our challenges and as a consequence we want to create resilient and adaptable systems and procedures and as a consequence we live our lives both individually as well as economically and our society overall without worrying about being super efficient. Let's give us a little slack. Let's give us collectively a little leeway, the benefit of doubt and empathy and love when we are together or from afar. <laughs>